Now with Lisa Goddard from Adoni Media in Brisbane and Radio 2 C breakfast host Stephen Senatampo in Canberra. Thanks both for joining us. Uh, Got to get your thoughts on this, Thanks, Lisa. And this is the, the big switch from Labor. You know, for pre-election and the early days, it was all going to be about lowering the cost of living. Now they've given up. They can't lower the cost of living, so they're, we're going to pump out some money to various groups of people to try and help you cope with this high cost of living that we've delivered. Well, it all comes back to messaging, doesn't it? It comes back to that basic reset of, of managing the media and managing what the Australian public are hearing. Well, we're going to change it. We can't deliver on a cost of living relief package. So we're going to now say that we're, you know, trying to help you out with these small pieces of money that we're going to give you. And there was interesting stats around out today saying two in five homes, homeowners that have a mortgage have had to have extra work, look for extra overtime or find another job just to try to make ends meet. So they're cutting out, I think, one in three have cut out going to the hairdresser, one in three have cut out gym memberships and all those extra expenses. At the end of the day, what that does is impact small business who are already doing it tough. So you've got yes. all of those people in this country who are doing it extremely tough will be watching this budget tonight and I don't think there would be much in it for them. Yeah, I'll be uh, very keen to see what's there for small business and we'll follow up on that tomorrow. I imagine four-fifths of bugger all. Now, of course, Jim Chalmers yeah. wrote his thesis, his political thesis, his doctorate is on Paul Keating. I've had a look at it. It's just a hero-worshipping essay on Paul Keating. You know, there's nothing to be learned from it, except that Jim Chalmers loves Paul Keating. Now, now Paul Keating had sharp lines and he understood economics and delivered economic reforms, whatever else you might think of him. Jim Chalmers, though, he's got the sharp lines, he's got the slogans. There's just not much underneath them, I think. Have a look at him today. I say to people who are doing it tough and to the most vulnerable people in our community that help is on the way in the budget. Uh, the tax cuts are the biggest part of the cost of living relief in the budget, but not the only part of the cost of living relief in the budget. You know, our big priority here is to put the people front and centre. Honestly, the slogan, Stephen, he sounds like Glenn Shorrick. Hang on, help is on the way. No, no, mate, you're the bloke who's made the problem. You're making it worse. Well, Chris, I, I know you're a big James Taylor fan. I've nicknamed this the James Taylor budget because he said last week it's going to be about relief and restraint. Well, that's a bit like fire and rain. <laughs> I mean, the reality is we've got a cost of living problem and, as you say, he can't bring the cost of living down. So what he's going to do is keep raising the cost of living, but he'll give us a bit of cash to try and cover up the fact that he hasn't been able to lower the cost of living. And then to talk about these tax cuts as being part of his budget, they were legislated by the previous government. I mean, yeah, exactly. what's he going to come up with himself?